Hey everybody, Jeremy here from Video Editor Studio and today I'm going to show you how to remove an object, logo or anything that bothers you in your image in DaVinci Resolve 17. Let's check it out. Improve your video and speed up your workflow by using easy to use drag and drop templates made specifically for DaVinci Resolve. Check it out on our website, videoeditorstudio.com. All right, so we are in DaVinci Resolve 17 right now. We are on the edit page and I'm going to show you how to use the patch replacer effect directly from the edit page. It was available before in the color page and in the fusion page, but now it's available also in the edit page. And it can be really, really helpful for the shot that doesn't need tracking. If you need tracking to remove an object, you will need to jump over to fusion or the color page to like do some proper tracking and do good work. You can get away with it by doing some small keyframing uh, directly in the edit page, but I will recommend you to not waste your time and go directly uh, to Fusion or the color page. But for the time being, I have two static shots where I would like to remove here the Apple logo and on this box, I would like to remove that logo too. So we're gonna jump into it right now. Let's go over to the effect library and I'm gonna go with replacer and it's gonna show me that effect, the patch replacer. I'm gonna bring that over to my two clips. So the first one, let's bring that. And the second one, let's bring that too. Now I will need to show the open effects because we are using an open effects. I need to make an adjustment here. So it actually show the open effects overlay. And as you can see here, I have a weird thing. And what it does basically is that replicating what is happening on that circle to that circle. So we can use that to patch a certain area of the image to another one. So what I mean by that is, look, I'm gonna refine it, make it about the side of the logo. We're gonna go over it and we basically gonna cover this area. So let's try to make it fit properly. Here we go. I think we're pretty good. Yes, I think, I think we're pretty good. Let's remove the fix so it doesn't bother us. And here, as you can see, it completely removed from all static shots. So if I want to do, you know, a, a small push in, so it's a bit more um, believable on my shot. Let's do a dynamic zoom. Let's toggle that in. And here, as you can see, we've removed what I didn't want in my shot. I can show you a before and after of what it looks before and what it looks now. And in my opinion, it's really clean. Um, you have something that is removed and that looks super clean that in few clicks directly from the edit page Again, if you have a shot that is moving uh, I will go over to fusion You can get away with it by basically if we go back to open effects overlay by um, Basically keyframing the patch position. So if you need to, you know, adjust the position of both the patch that is sample from and the patch that is cover um, you can do that by just using the keyframing but again i will recommend you to go over to fusion and use some proper tracking to have the best results uh, then we're going to try the same exact same thing on this shot i'm going to try to remove the apple logo so let's go oh i'm still on the other one i'm still on the old one let's jump over to this one and here i'm going to adjust to cover the apple logo do that I'm gonna be nearby and here we go as you can see same thing it cover up the upper logo and it's working that's pretty much it guys that's all you need to know to remove an object really quickly or a logo really quickly all right so as you can see if I play them side by side it removed the logo that I wanted to be removed super cleanly uh, it took us literally a minute to do uh, it's super easy and super intuitive to use in my opinion um, I hope that was useful. Let me know in the comment what you would like to see in the future. And that being said, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next one. Bye. Improve your video and speed up your workflow by using easy to use drag and drop templates made specifically for DaVinci Resolve. Check it out on our website, videoeditorstudio.com.